Meghan Markle was not welcome at Balmoral Castle while the late Queen Elizabeth II was on her deathbed, according to bombshell claims made in Omid Scobie's new book. The highly anticipated endgame hit shelves on November 28 and offers a deep look into the royal family's actions right before and after the death of Her Majesty. Scobie detailed the firm's movements during the late monarch's final hours as they made their way to Scotland where the Queen was staying at Balmoral Castle, during Chapter 9 of the explosive biography. The royal author claims that Prince Harry, who happened to be in the UK at the time with Meghan Markle for some charity work, received a call from the King who told him to head to Balmoral but with one firm request, don't bring your wife, the Mirror reports. Scobie wrote, another call came through from Charles who instructed his younger son to come alone. The Duke of Sussex had already publicly confirmed that Meghan would join him but agreed to leave her behind when Charles said that Kate Middleton wouldn't be there either. The King, however, did not mention that the only reason the Princess of Wales wouldn't be there was so she could pick her kids up from their first day of school. Scobie claims that a former palace aide said, they just didn't want Meghan there. At the time of the Queen's death Harry and Meghan had already left the firm two years previously, which caused a huge rift between the Duke and his closest relatives. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. However, Things were only about to go from bad to worse as Harry and Meghan went on to release their bombshell Netflix docuseries just months after Her Majesty's passing which was then followed by more brutal accusations against the royals in Harry's tell-all memoir Spare. Scobie claims that after learning of his grandmother's failing health, the Duke of Sussex had tried to reach out to other members of the royal family including his elder brother Prince William. However, the Prince of Wales ignored his texts according to Endgame, despite his private jet having space for Harry to tag along. A family source claims the future king just didn't want to see his younger brother, leaving the Duke to make his way to Scotland alone after chartering a plane for £30,000. A source close to the Sussexes said, it was upsetting to witness. Harry was completely by himself on this. Although the seemingly frosty relationship between Harry and his family rages on, it's been reported that the Duke is trying to make amends and reconcile with his father. The Prince reportedly called the King on his 75th birthday earlier this month to wish him the best on his special day and even sent him a video of his kids, Prince Archie, four and Princess Lilibet, two singing happy birthday to their estranged grandfather.